with reading this with the announcement that this meeting is being recorded. Um, I'll read the standard opening statement. This is the Northampton Conservation Commission for the 13th of January, 2022 now. The commission is a group of unpaid volunteers who work to protect the natural environment of Northampton. We are concerned with the eight interests defined in the Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act. Our duties also include open space acquisition and management. We operate in a way that's consistent with open meeting law requirements. All meeting dates, times, and agendas are posted in advance, and we invite public comment during our meetings. However, we ask the public to limit their comments to issues within our purview. Today's agenda uh, includes uh, uh, one, two, three requests for certificates of compliance, um, then consideration of a recommendation that we would make to the planning board, and then an executive session to discuss a strategy with respect to litigation. Um, so I'll start with, uh, Sarah, I don't think there were minutes this time, were there, or were there? Uh, there, there were, there were three sets. Three? Uh, all right, let me go back here and look at the... I see two. Oh, yes, there were, I see them now, okay. So June 10th, June 24th, and July 29th. All right. Um, let me do a quick scan here. And while I do that, someone want to make a motion to approve the minutes for the uh, 10th of June? Um, so moved. Is there a second? Second. And let me finish my scan so I can have an informed vote. Um, yep, looks all right to me. Uh, any modifications or amendments to those minutes? If not, uh, all in favor, Sarah, roll call. Mason? Yes. Randy? Yes. Jason? Yes. Kevin? Yes. And Jen? Abstain. And the next set of minutes are for July 29th. I'm doing a scan of those right now. They're 24th, oh, 20, oh, yes, yeah, July 29th, yep. Yeah. Oh, did I skip? No, no, but you, you're looking, that's the order in the- in The order email. in the email, right. Yeah, so. Um, okay, someone want to make a motion to approve the minutes of July 29th? So moved. And a second? Second. Is there any amendments or modifications to those minutes? If not, uh, all in favor? Sarah? Mason? Yes. Randy? Yes. Jason? I have to abstain. I wasn't there. Right. Kevin? Yes. And Jen? Yes. And we have one more set, and that's uh, for the 24th of June. And I'm going through those now. In the meantime, someone want to make a motion to approve those minutes? Should I, there is one minor change that needs to be made. Should I do that after the motion? Sure. Okay, I'll move that uh, we approve. And a second? Second. Any modifications or amendments? Randy? Um, yeah, under the executive session, you've got Randy uh, moved to approve the acquisition, then Randy seconded it. Um, oh, I didn't do that, okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know I did one of those two things. I can't remember, it was last year. So. Okay, I'll go back and to my notes and, and adjust that. So, yeah. any Unless, other does amendments? anyone recall making that motion? Uh, let's see. To approve any second. No, I don't recall. Okay. I see, I, I I see the note, but I don't recall. Oh, so, with Sarah, we'll make a corrective uh, amendment. Any other changes to those minutes? If not, uh, all in favor, Sarah? Mason? Yes. Randy? Yes. Jason? Yes. Kevin? Yes. And Jen? Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, so now we have, uh, oh, first, is there any general public comment um, for anything not involving a specific case uh, that is before us tonight, but just, general business for the Conservation Commission. 
If not, uh, let's consider the first certificate of compliance. Uh, Sarah sent us some information about um, all of those. Um, you want to do a summary in order, Sarah? First, West Hampton Road. Sure. So this was a situation where a common driveway was proposed. Um, this would have created an additional house beyond one that was already there. The one at 348 West Hampton Road was previously existing. As part of this common driveway, the Conservation Commission actually received a conservation restriction on the rear of the property, which was recorded um, and the city does uh, have a restriction at this point. Uh, but the work was never actually done. Some separate work was done on a parcel that, that has now been carved off from this parcel, but no work within resource areas at all was done on, on this parcel. Uh, so it seems appropriate to issue a partial certificate of compliance, just releasing this lot. All right, any uh, discussion or questions? If not, someone wanna make a motion to grant a partial certificate of compliance. So moved. And a second? Second. Is there any uh, further discussion? If not, all in favor, Sarah? Mason? Yes. Randy? Yes. yes. Jason? Yes. Kevin? Yes. And Jen? Yes. And we have... Uh, the next request for a certificate of compliance, this on Randolph Place. Uh, so Randolph Place was a project that would never have been allowed under any circumstances under today's laws. So basically this just allowed the applicant to fill in a big section of riverfront area. And I went and looked at it and yes, they did, they filled it in. Um, there weren't any special conditions, nothing that had to be done. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Before the before the, I guess not before the um, Wetlands Act, but before the Rivers Act? Oh, yeah, before the Rivers Act. Yeah. Right. All right, any questions uh, or comments? If not, uh, someone want to make a motion to grant, that is a completed certificate of compliance um, because it was just for a narrow purpose back in 1981. I'll make the motion. I'll, I'll second. All right, made and seconded. Any further discussion? If not, uh, all in favor, Sarah. Mason? Yes. Randy? Yes. Jason? Yes. Kevin? Yes. And Jen? Yes. And last we have, um, West Hampton Road. Let me see. Probably took these out of out of order. I, I think it was uh, Kennedy so Road. West Kennedy Road. So this was Kennedy a Road, situation sorry. where the commission issued an order. No work was ever completed, so that would be an invalid certificate of compliance. So it's uh, uh, it's uh, officially an invalid certificate that yep. anything would have to start from scratch all over again. Someone want to make a motion? Uh, to, uh, I guess you're not issuing an invalid certificate, but uh, um, defining the certificate as invalid, the certificate of compliance. First, I'll move. And a second? Second. Any further discussion? And if not, uh, roll call vote, Sarah. Mason? Yes. Randy? Yes. Jason? Yes. Kevin? Yes. And Jen? Yes. All right. Um, now we have a recommendation for the planning board. Uh, Sarah sent out a, a note about this. This is a 13 acre parcel. Um, and part of it's being carved off to retain a, a house site. And um, that'll result in a narrower than normal um, uh, access lane to get to the bulk of the 
uh, conserved land. And um, that, as I understand it, Sarah, this is trying to uh, make sure that the credit for the whole space, including the, the retained uh, three point something acres for the house site and the conservation land uh, together has enough frontage to pass muster so that it doesn't um, violate the frontage requirements. Is that a fair summary? Uh, so it's a reduction in what is currently required in that zoning district. And this is allowed by special permit um, because they're obtaining zoning credit for the land donations. For the other, right. So, that, okay, that's a Yeah, for that small piece. piece. Yeah, okay. Any questions or comments on that? Well, it seems reasonable. You know, the fact that they're, they're giving us access to the conservation property right next to their easement um, or by next to their drive, um, I think would, gives, it, it gives it a good reason to, to proceed with the uh, zoning credit. Yep. I agree. Any other comments, questions? So Sarah, we, um, we need this to be an official vote in order to make a recommendation to the planning board to allow this? Uh, we do. So that would, someone could make a motion to make a, a positive recommendation allowing the frontage reduction for the board. All right. Someone want to make a motion to that effect? So moved. And a second? And I can, I think yeah. Mason seconded that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all in favor? Mason? Yes. Randy? Yes. Jason? Yes. Kevin? Yes. And Jen? Yes. Right. And for the executive session, Kevin, you will need to declare that um, the, an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the commission. And then we would move to go into executive session without the intent All to right. return to um, open session. I, 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 I see two other uh, um, people on the call here uh, besides attorney Sewell uh, and the commissioners. Um, the, Either of you have uh, questions or comments before we go into an executive session, because we'll have to um, uh, block your access in order to continue an executive session. Mr. Chair, I think you need to also inform whether you're going to return to open session. Ah, good point. N normally when we do a, an executive session at the end, we do not return um, uh, to uh, an open hearing after that. Makes sense, particularly on Zoom, because people aren't just stepping out of the room and coming right. back in, so. Right, okay. So it's just All right. Is this the end of the session then? And this would be the end of the normal session. I'm here to find out more about session. what this is all, is all about, so um, thank you. Okay, and I see my old friend Paul on the Hello. little box here. Uh, and I uh, assume you're here also just finding out how this stuff works. I would say this is an unusually abbreviated meeting. Usually it's a lot well, more going on than this. It looks very refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, you no need comments. to attend a few. <laughs> yeah, right. You, you can come back when we have angry people yelling. I have never heard of a conservation commission being described that way, ever. <laughs> uh, you it's were here when the I'll marina was in then. then. <laughs> all right thank you good night all right good to see you so we'll go into executive session uh so want to make a motion to go into executive session i'll make the motion and a second second all in favor sarah mason yes randy yes jason yes kevin Yes. And Jen? Yes. 